Welcome back to another video of Carolina ADC Reviews. Happy New Year's. Hope you're having a great holidays. Now let's start this New Year's with some awesome stuff. Hopefully everybody's having a great time and staying safe and all that good stuff and just spending time with family and friends. So I see the the video. We got another product from the guys at Otis, uh, Otis Technology. Uh, they are a company based of uh, cleaning products for your firearms. So it was kind enough to send this stuff to the channel. So I appreciate those guys. Make sure to check them out. I'll put links down below or in the uh, comments. So this is pretty much a whole kit here. Uh, pretty cool stuff here. I haven't tried on this. We're going to do this. We're going to try it out. Some pistols and an AR and just kind of use it and see how well it works. Uh, so they sent out a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, this is going to be uh, one of the kits that they have available. Of course, you can buy all this separately from the website as well. And again, uh, if you need to replenish some of the stuff and everything, again, you can get it separately. Just make sure to check the website now. This guy's what at the Iraq Veteran 8088 event last year, and they had some pretty cool stuff. Of course, they uh, they have other uh, companies, sisters company that they own as well. So uh, we'll talk about it in another video. But again. This is gonna be their uh, range kit, cleaning kit. They got some cool stuff to come with. Pretty much everything that you need if you own pretty much very common calibers. Uh, again, from pistol to rifle calibers, uh, has pretty much everything on here on this kit. So let's go through everything, kind of check it out and see what else uh, they have available, as well as some cleaning products, loop and all that cool stuff. So let's start right here, which is on the top right here. And as you can see, these are gonna be wipes, clean, lubricant, protecting. Overall, all you all overall everything you can do with this, uh, you can clean your uh, firearms and anything in that nature to keep it clean, uh, remove any kind of uh, you know oils or anything in that nature. Uh, this are going to be what so we're going to use this as well and we'll use it at the end and pretty much on whatever you need to uh they do have several type of mats uh this is one of them cleaning mats so let's open it up and they call this the smart gun care mat and it's pretty much a foam mat and protects your uh if you're doing this on the furniture or, or on the floor carpet whatever um <clears throat> as you can see it's Water resistant, uh, sucks up all the oil, non sleeve for uh, detail work, uh, rests your value of firearm on it in the range, laid across your tailgate for your firearms. So, pretty much overall, anything you can use this for protects your firearms and whatever you land and own. So, pretty neat. We're going to be using this throughout the whole video, and it's a pretty nice size mat. Got the Otis logo there, and like I said, you can lay a rifle on this. It's about long enough to lay, lay a rifle on it. So that's pretty neat. So we will use that throughout the video. Clean just some of my firearms here. Just kind of go through it. So uh, let's start with the top. And the cool thing about this is um, it's got different compartments and everything. So you can organize everything. And this is just the top section, just a lid on the outside. And once you open it, you have some other products you can organize you can put uh parts here extra parts here and there uh, whatever you may need if you need some parts for your ar or firearm what it may be now this is just a small little mat here for uh pistols and everything else pretty much the same material uh kind of rubberized and um, kind of non-slip protects your firearm flame now all right, let's go through. This is going to be a small little kit here. And basically, it's just um, kind of like a uh, pre-lubricate type um, smart cloth or something that nature. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a microfiber. Gun cleaning for your uh, red dots, optics, where it may be that you don't want to scratch. You can use this. See what else we have here. We have a, another cloth. This is also for your lens. We have uh, some extrans or oh, tissues. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Got a mesh box. So our lens tissue, just pretty much tissues. You can wipe the lens with glasses, whatever it may be. And then we have 
a flag and some like to be those small brushes for uh let's see what caliber that is don't say but small parts here you got a flag flag chamber indicator so if you need to make sure your firearm is clear and again you have some small brushes here for whatever my reason you need very tiny not really sure what is this some kind of punch but oh okay little handle so you make a little handle and you put your brush on here I guess not really sure don't say what caliber it is but smaller bushes here some kind of little handle I'm not really sure anyways we'll put it on here <laughs> And again, so you got some cloth in here. Got some stickers here. Some swag. Of course. <clears throat> and then we got some uh, little small bottle here of lubricant. Uh, let's see. This is a ProCare system. Step 2 of 3 lubricant. Some FP10. So, bottle of lubricant. Then we got some board cleaner. Um, pretty much you pour this on your um, cloth and run it to your board so it breaks all the uh, carbon and everything. And some more CLP here, lubricant. So after you clean your board, you can run it, put on the piece of cloth and run it to your board if you want to, whatever it may be. So that's different size bottles here. And of course you got another tray here. We got brushes some uh plastic brushes we got a brass so one damage and then we got a stainless steel brush as well so i'd rather have the plastic ones or the poly whatever you want to call it protects your firearm from scratches and rubbing off the finish and stuff but you can use the other stuff on any other parts that is stainless steel as well won't damage it all right so we have uh usually this kind of grease here and this is all weather grease so it's good for uh real high temperature places or below freeze temperature um you know pour this on your firearm especially rifles where it needed keep it from freezing and function your firearm so this is pretty cool and again um pretty cool stuff and you can use them pretty much everything else that is uh you know out in the weather and stuff like that so nice applicator point point whatever you need squeeze some in there and good to go all right let's see what else we have so we have some more brushes here and it's going to be board brushes and these are yeah this are label uh, what caliber? So this is a 30, 35, I think. Yeah, 30, 35. Kind of weird. Um, numbers there to have for calibers. 45, 40, 50, uh, 9 millimeters. So yeah, pistol calibers. Pretty cool. They all stamp on the brush there what caliber they are. And you can keep on this little container if you want to. You can take them out, put them in there. Gives you a little more room, but you can keep it organized here. Again, this stuff are sold separately. If you only need new brushes and you have everything else, you can always buy that stuff as well. And let's see, we have a pull through board cleaner. This is for 45 cal, so we do have 45. We'll be cleaning here in a second. And again, this is specifically for your 45 caliber handguns. Uh, so we'll use that as well if not we'll use something else all right so that's pretty much the top of the kit on here and again the cool thing about this you can uh, use this as well as a um, organizer or whatever it might be all right so that was not the main compartment so the main compartment is going to be some tabs here on the side that you're going to open here on the side um, <clears throat> on this side here push it down and then you open the main compartment uh, this does come off you put it to the side right there and the cool thing about this is you can use this as a um, 
like a rest for your AR or your rifles. You're gonna have these um, addition here that you can put on this side. And that's where you're gonna lay your AR rifle or your hunting rifle, bolt action maybe, whatever it could be. Uh, you can do it that way. And then you have uh, gonna have another block here. And this is for your AR. As you can see, you lock it in there, put in your vise. Um, I think you can put it on here as well. Yep, you can put it on here. So if you need to uh, work on your AR, you can put it right here, lock it in, set it on here and clean it, whatever you may do. But we're gonna be using this one here. And let's see what else you can get from this guy at Otis. All right, so we got some gun cleaning patches. We're gonna be using these are two inch patches. There's a hundred count here. Plenty enough to last you for a while. And just your standard patches. And then we got some three inch patches. That's a hundred count. Um, let's see, this is gonna be for use for your uh, 0.72 to 0.243 caliber firearms. So that's a small patches. And then you got two to three, 250 cal, cal, uh, cal rifles. Even your shotguns, you're gonna use this one for the big boars. So, all right, so we're gonna have some shotgun and choke tube. We're not gonna be cleaning our shotguns, but you can pretty much uh, use this on anything. And then we have some quick scrub polymer safe. So this will be good for your pistols. Uh, if you clean it outside, removes the fouling, the residue buildup from action and trigger group. No disassembly will not harm polymer or plastic. So if you have any type of firearms that uh, polymer, which most of them are, you can use that and it'll be safe to use. All right, so you got some drive loop. This is gonna be, again, just a drive loop, clean, protects, and lubricates. So I don't have that residue, I'm assuming. So we're gonna use some of this as well. See how well it works. We'll use it on the AR BCG bolt, whatever. See how well that works. And that'll be it. All right, we have another brush kit here, which look like it came off apart here. And yeah, these are gonna be for your, let's see what calibers. Okay, this is gonna be a shotgun. So we're not gonna be using this. Again, you got all your uh, patches, extensions and brushes and everything else you need for your shotgun to clear the bore and everything, so. We're not be using this. We're gonna put this on top, matter of fact, up here, man. All right, so we got the, uh, another kit here. This is, I don't say what it is, but look like it's gonna be uh, another addition brush and some rods here. And of course, let's see, let's see what we got. Uh, there's a discount code if y'all want to use it to Otis. This is 20% off your next purchase. There you go, take that. Uh, cleaning instructions. This is going to be some instructional stuff for your first time cleaning it, where to lube and everything. It's got some pictures and everything, how to use everything, which is pretty cool. So, so your first time, uh, first time gun owner, you can, uh, you know, learn how to do this stuff. Right there, it comes with instructions. And pretty much this is your board cleaning wire here, you pull through and your brush. And let's see, again, I don't know what caliber this is for. Let's see what this thing says here. All right, so this is for your AR. So 5.56, five, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is gonna be a brush here to clean your, um, your ramp and everything. So yeah, that's pretty neat. So we'll pull that back in here. And we'll use that with the AR. And we'll clean it here in a second. All right, see so what else we got? Uh, we got some more snake boards, what you call them. Uh, I'm assuming different calibers. Let's see. Uh, this is gonna be a two, 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 three. Uh, shotgun. What's this? I'm gonna let's open it so we can see. You guys, excuse me for the way I'm filming this because we ain't got nowhere else to do it. So we got some bunch of little needles here for your lube to use pinpoint all your stuff when you lube everything. 
I'm gonna take this out of the package so we'll have it. And let's see, we got uh what is this? All right, two two three is this one. This is gonna be sorry, I need to pull this out again so I can see 30 caliber. Here's um uh what you call it a um bcg cleaning tool for your ar as you can see right there so you can scrape all the carbon off your bolt carrier group and like i say we got a bunch of snake boards patches um stuff here for your ar and we're gonna use this stuff here in a second so let's see what else we got we got some uh foaming board cleaner not really sure about this. How well will it clean or um, be able to clear out the barrel, I guess. Uh, this is the Smart Gun Care. And again, this is something if you got a vise, you can uh, put this in a vise, it's magnetic. And what it does, it protects your firearm from getting scratched, so it's gonna Mount like this, one side and over on the other side. And that's just something if you like to do on your vise, you can put this on there. I don't have a vise, so we'll not be using this. And this is, again, for general purpose use for your, again, your um, firearm to protect it. So, all right, I think we went through pretty much everything, very common stuff, your bore snake brushes, your cleaning products, your oil, your oil products, lubricant, whatever. Um, and everything else. So let's go ahead and take some of this stuff, uh, set it up. Um, we're gonna try some uh, handguns first, and then we're gonna clean the AR. Just general uh, cleaning, field cleaning, I guess you can call it. And then we'll see how well this product is, uh, cleans. And of course, how well it lubricates um, at the end, how it feels and everything. All right, so enough talking, let's set up. Let me put some uh, handguns and AR take them apart save time because youtube does not allow us to show us that stuff so i'm going to go ahead and take it apart and have it all set up and ready so stay tuned we'll be right back all right guys as usual when you clean your firearms make sure there's no ammunition and everything's away from your cleaning area as far as magazines ammo any type of situation that may happen you don't want to neglect discharge happening or have somebody get injured or anything like that. So make sure all ammunition magazines is out of the area are you cleaning your firearms. That being said, take precautions, safety very serious when handling firearms. All right, that being said, uh, again, I go ahead and took my firearm apart. As you can see, I'm using a P365, that's my daily carry. Uh, nice little gun, done review. So uh, this is my go-to and it's time to clean it. As you can see, it's a little dirty. So we're gonna use some of this um, quick scrub. I'm just gonna spray the slide, the barrel, all that good stuff. And then we'll go from there and just clean it. And again, everybody's got their own way to clean stuff. Um, like I said, whatever your method is, use it however you prefer to do so. Usually I like to spray the stuff, let it soak. And this man does absorb, absorb this stuff pretty nice. Um, as far as the power map goes, um, this is power map safe, so you can spray it on this. Um, typically, some people like to take these frames completely apart. I don't, uh, unless it's really necessary, but um, this is my daily carry, and I don't shoot it as much. Um, so, uh, we're just gonna spray it, let it soak for a little bit. Uh, shouldn't take that long to do so. And we're gonna use a little polymer uh, brush again. It comes with the wire and stainless. I'd rather use polymer. You can use the old to old toothbrush, whatever you like to use. And we're gonna just gonna scrub everything so it help uh, speed up the process of breaking the the carbon and everything. Um, again, when it comes to cleaning products, everybody's got his preference. This is just uh, one option out there that you can use. And again, make sure to check Otis. Thank you again for being a uh, great support channel as usual. So we are scrubbing away. Again, we're not gonna take too much time. This is just a uh, simple fill strip cleaning um, and just scrubbing away 
any carbon build up on all the parts here everything that we see and again we will see how all this stuff works just scrubbing scrubbing away now this stuff does have a little smell to it again make sure to do this kind of stuff in a ventilated area if you're working with chemicals and other nature um, you know want to make sure you don't suffocate yourself or whatever <laughs> may be all right this um let me scroll a little more on this because this stuff dries pretty quickly. So I want to make sure I scrub everything away. And again, everybody's got their own method of cleaning stuff. This is just mine. Simple, easy to do, but we're here to just see how well this product works. All right, so the bore stuff. We're gonna spray again, make sure we got enough stuff in there. I'm gonna do the boar snake. And again, stick it from the, um, uh, what you call it? The bridge in where it chambers, and then we're gonna pull it through. So start from this end, stick it through, put the handle back on, and we're gonna pull it through. There we go. Usually one or two pass is good. We're gonna do two of them just to make sure. Again, all comes to preference. How dirty your firearm or barrel is in this nature. This one is not gonna be too dirty because I don't shoot it a lot, which I need to. But that's pretty much it. We're done with the boar snake. Uh, we brushed everything. Let's brush the frame here right quick. Again. Just scrub some of these areas here. Use a couple patches again. Um, all comes preference. You got old cloth or anything, and you don't have any patches, you can always use a old um, microfiber towel, which I do have some of those. Or you can use your old t shirt that you may have, not use anymore. Tear it up in pieces, and you can always use those as well. All right, so we just clean away how dirty that is. And again, not looking at the camera. I hope I'm getting everything in the frame here. Sorry if, if I come off a frame sometimes. Um, just trying to do this best possible. And again, it's all about how Otis Technology products, cleaning product works, and seems to be doing great. Uh, everything looks nice and clean barrel looks good get your clothes up hands are dirty let me wipe my hands a little bit here all right <laughs> there it is just nice didn't really scrub the end of it but let's do it a little more scrubbing on the end. What I do is, oh, here it is. And scrub it. Let me use the end of this brush. And again, I do have brush, but I'm too lazy to get it. <laughs> so let's do the snake bore again through it. Make sure, let me spray some more so I can get it real get this stuff clean and again I notice this stuff does kind of evaporate very quickly so okay then that's the best as I go get it as far as the breech and the barrel inside goes wipe it off sorry guys I'm trying to keep it a frame here but All right, so as far as the chamber goes, or the barrel goes, I mean, it's clean. As you can see, the end, not too much to worry about it. Just want to make sure the inside is nice and clean. The ramp here is nice and clean. And that's pretty much it. All right, so the barrel's done. The 
recoil is pretty much done just wipe it off and <clears throat> excuse me frame I'm just gonna wipe it off also notice this stuff if you leave it sitting it does kind of have a little bit of residue here so I'm not sure why but it's wiping off um, so we're just gonna gonna wipe all this off as usual just make sure everything's clean again you can use your brush get the cracks in there that's what I usually do get the rails slide just kind of wipe everything off get all the rest of you off all right so that's done see we've done the frame pretty much everything's clean now as far as the slides go let me wipe it off a little more it's got a little rest of you all right so there's the slide that's like i said just fast easy cleaning get the chamber here or the channel here so pretty clean i mean you're gonna have some wear max that's typical but you can always take it down more clean the channel of the fire pin and all that i'm not doing all that uh everything looks good so now let's put it together very simple uh Plenty, plenty of videos out there on how to put everything and disassemble your firearms. Again, I don't do that here. I'm trying to save a little time, trying to get this video up and to you. So we're gonna, sorry, put this back on together. We gotta, gotta take the washer off before you put it back through the slide. If you have a thread barrel. Better review on this. Make sure to check facts and firearms. Great girl. So, all right. Barrel, recoil rod, oil. I almost forgot. <laughs> all right. So, uh, like I said, it comes with needles. You can uh, change out for your oil. And we're going to use this lubricant here, the FP10 Lubricant Elite. And this is going to be the Pro Care System, step two of three lubricate. So, again, just oil. And I like using some needles because you can get precise where you want the oil, especially on these channels here where you cannot get to with your regular standard nozzles. And you'll just pretty much put in these areas here where metal, metal contact, or anything moves with it. All right, so. I also like to put a little bit on the burl, just kind of make it smooth run and keeps from wearing the finish on the burl, so it slides to the burl easily. All right, and on the channel, just on the rail, top, side, bottom, on this particular gun, that's all I do. All right. Leave it there. That's it. Uh, not too much oil needed. And we'll put it back together. Lock it to the back. And push button. And we're good to go. Let me wipe it off. And of course, do a function test. And we'll do one when we go to the range. Make sure everything's working with some ammunition, live ammunition. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, as far as 9mm pistols, polymer, fingerprint, point safe direction, pull trigger, reset, there you go, done. All right, let's pause it and do a 1911-45 caliber, so stay tuned. All right, but uh, we're back, and now we have the 1911 taken apart. I did clean already. Just want to show you, kind of make the video a little bit short as quick as possible, but uh, the product does work works real well. Again, the quick scrub, uh, it does evaporate kind of quickly, so 
you got to be kind of a little bit quick when it comes to cleaning but it does the job it does clean it real well again now we're going to put it together lubricate the function things and we'll be right back all right guys we're back with the 1911 springfield armory the garrison if you haven't seen the review make sure to check that out but function test reset fire perfect so that's pretty much it uh now let's step up to the ar-15 and be uh done with this video so stay tuned all right guys like i was saying here see what i was talking about you put your little blocks here um then you have your ar you can work on it right here and clean it now as far as keeping it open uh not really sure i think you can uh move it down or so maybe that will help on keeping it open not really sure uh but anyways you can uh put some more tools here cleaning rods whatever uh cool stuff like that but anyways uh got the bulk care group here we're gonna spray it right quick clean it up and see what we can do with it if i can find my brush how to do with it well lost my brush somewhere <laughs> all right hang tight here oh, there it is all right so all right we got the brush let's spray it up right quick um typically with this type of bolts here they're really easy to clean anyways um so don't take much to clean them so we're gonna spray it and pretty much just wipe it off like i said these bolts here are easy to clean anyways they got a nickel boron finish on it very easy to clean maintain they go for a long time don't doesn't take much lube anyways really like the nickel borons bolt carrier groups here and this is from mm, cryptic uh yeah cryptic coatings which is here out of north carolina pretty awesome bolts really recommend they are low pricey but they'll last forever and as you can see they're very very easy to clean don't even need a brush and there it is nice and clean of course needs to spray some on the bolt face here but doesn't really take much to really clean them at all so not really much to it yeah that's pretty much it nice clean again and the finish still going strong that's what they are uh, known for but yeah that's pretty much it so bolt care groups is done now we're gonna work on the barrel and the breech um like i say it's very simple process just spray your bore uh and run your snake bore through it but we got this um where is it at? oh yeah this little brush here i'm assuming this is going to be for the breech uh for the ramp and everything um so we're gonna fit it through here and just clean the um breech let's spray it up a little bit first and again sorry for the lighting the lighting is not the best but i'm trying to best do this as possible as easy as possible as i can uh -uh. all right so one thing i'm one thing i do need is a handle to be able to utilize and clean this boards so trying to figure out which handle to use here so bear with me as i figure this out because i don't like the instructions <laughs> at all and i just freaking hurt my finger but anyways um yeah read the instructions because <laughs> uh it does help but anyways where is the freaking thing to this i'm sorry guys never prepared for this kind of stuff but anyways yeah 
Um, hmm. I'm not really sure what handles I'll use on this to be able to turn it. So, I'm gonna wing it here. So, just stick it in here. Then, I'm gonna turn it as best as possible, which is kinda hard to do without a handle. I know there's a handle somewhere. Let me look again. I don't see it. Not in there. Thought it was. Uh, still don't see it. But anyways, uh, we're not gonna need this tool here. Like I was saying, this is for your boat. Uh, cleaning and everything. Since I don't need it for mine. This is a way to clean your boat. Take it apart, clean it. Uh, get all the carbon built off of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, anyways, uh, again, once you find the handles, see, I don't freaking hurt my finger there. Um, put a hand on the back and you twist it and then chamber it and clean it. But we're not gonna use that. We're gonna snake board, spray some in it, and uh, get it done here. All right, so where's my snake board for the 556? Five, five, find it here. Again, guys, bear with me. This is not easy. Not easy at all. All right, found it. All right, so uh, here we are. Snake board for the two, two, three, and we're gonna feed it through, and of course, pull through it as usual. So I'm gonna feed it through. And again, you can more do this stuff more thorough as far as the cleaning go. But again, I'm just trying to kind of go through this and kind of use everything on here on this range kit. But we're gonna wing it again. Gonna spray some board, nice clean, and then we're gonna pull through it. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> There we go. Whew. All right, so <laughs> with a little bit of force, you can get it through. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna pull a wire through with a patch in it. I'm just gonna clean the access stuff. And all you do is use one of those wires with a patch, pull it through, uh, just like that. And not really too dirty. Let's pass right through it again. I'm gonna spray some more in there. Just to make sure we got everything. And again, with a more thorough cleaning you can do. But for the sake of the video, we just kinda going through it. There we go. All right. So not really much carbon build in there in that burrow. So there you go. All right, let's swing through it again. So we're done cleaning everything. Uh, let's put it back together. Many videos out there how to put your air together just to make sure your bolt's four. And voila. And again, when it comes to the AR, there's more to it. Pretty much fill strip it clean it whatever uh this is a simple way just clean your bolt clean your burrow uh, as far as the low part you can more into detail whenever you want to uh usually after so many thousands around that's when you won't get into the low part but other than that uh the quick scrub does clean pretty good uh it is polymer safe uh, it does a great job again uh, it does evaporate pretty quickly so you have to work pretty fast with it to be able to, you know, clean your parts and everything. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it works just fine. Uh, the lube, you got the lube with the needles. Uh, make sure to lube the components and everything as usual. But guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple, quick video. Hope it helps. Again, here's a discount code to 
the uh, orders of 75 and over, you get free shipping. 20% off your next purchase at Otis Technology. And there's other information, otistech.com. And again, thank you to Otis for some of the products here. Pretty cool stuff, definitely gonna use it. Uh, more stuff than I need to claim, <laughs> which I need to uh, again. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you again, hopefully uh, this kind of gives you an idea what they have to offer. Pretty nice kit. Take this to the range. All everything in a container, toolbox. Uh, everything is organized and ready to go when you need it. So, guys, that's pretty much as usual. Thank you for all the support, and let's continue to grow on 2022, and let's get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That'd be excellent. Make sure to follow me on all social media as usual: Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Parlor and utreon.com where's gun friendly uh, option as same as youtube but gun friendly so check anybody else out there as well on utreon so guys that's pretty much as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye